name is Ryan Huff. I was the senior project manager for the Phi Stoa project. Morley Builders recently completed the construction of the Phi Stoa project in Santa Clarita. The project is built to store and preserve motion pictures. The project consists of preservation labs, office space, conference room, along with screening rooms, wet labs, and supporting infrastructure such as the central plant. Due to Morley's previous international experience, we were able to establish a protocol and apply to this type of building, quality, and scale. Our task was to provide all these materials and finishes and the authenticity of these old buildings, but build it in today's standards and performance with fabricators from Italy, here in Los Angeles, and Mexico as well. A lot of coordination went into the different materials coming into play. We selected fabricators for the six different materials on the project. We then looked at the schedule for fabrication durations. That took us from anywhere from 10 months to about 22 months total. Out of those 22 months, I made trips to Italy 18 different times. I focused on quality control. In the case of the stone, it was actually laid down as it would be installed. And therefore, I would check, do they have the right quantity of pieces? Quality of fabrication, very particular in this building, was the edge of the material. Also, color variation against the control sample. Make it natural as the material is, so it wouldn't look monochromatic. Morley's international experience really helped to achieve this project. Our previous experience with the Getty Villa in Malibu and the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels in Los Angeles also had international materials. We're great believers in mock-ups. We did mock-ups for the exterior stone, for the roof tiles. So it really created a way to communicate to the architect and to the client the final finish. Logistics for this building were very complex. With the thousands and thousands of pieces of stone doors for the 30,000 yards of concrete, hundreds and thousands of tons of rebar that were built into this building, all had to be sequenced correctly. Now the special part about this building is between the first and second floor is a, it's about a seven foot tall interstitial level. And as with most collection storage systems, the owner has no wet piping and no serviceable mechanical equipment in the storage rooms themselves. This reduces any threat to the film. In order to complete this, we use three-dimensional BIM modeling, building information modeling in the interstitial areas. Quite a bit of coordination was having to be done on the, the three-dimensional modeling to make all of the piping and electrical and, and conduits fit. Uh, through that space to allow us access to get through there. So the key for us was to communicate the project schedule and the plan with the design team and the subcontractors. So we used several concepts from lean construction such as pull planning and last planner approach. We also used a 4D schedule where we tied the schedule into the model. We used this model to help clearly communicate with the entire team what the project plan was and when we needed all the materials by. So these tools, along with the collaboration from the entire team, is what helped us deliver the project on time. The Morley Construction team has done a brilliant job, in my opinion, to bring this building together. And this facility is really wonderful for me. In my nearly 40 years experience as an administrator and curator and audiovisual preservationist, I never had the opportunity to work in a building that was built and designed from the ground up for the express purpose of preserving audiovisual media. It's a pleasure to work here and it's a pleasure to come in every day in this beautiful building. Morley Builders is proud to be part of such a monumental project that will be preserving an important part of history for years to come. <laughs>